better performance for them game design up in the final, I think. Another Cuban boxer, one of their most talented at middleweight, Arlen Lopez, with a fan-friendly style of fluidity of movement, skills to burn. And it's a big test for Egypt's Hossam Abdin. Hossam Abdin in the blue, who's got a massive support here. The Egyptians to our right are making a huge din. Drums being beaten, flags out, cheering. Uh, their man is going to get their full support. Fantastic stuff. The judges are now displayed on the scoreboard. Well, we move up to middleweight, and I've got to say, David, I, I think this is the boxer Arlen Lopez, who has been easier on the eye than any other in these championships so far. Yeah, really stood out for me. First time I've seen him in his opening bout, and out of all the Cubans, I'd have to say he was the most impressive for me. Very economical with his footwork. Excellent boxer. Looking forward to seeing him in action again. Uh, he's very uh, non-Cuban style, he stays in range, his shots just float through the combinations, just with the subtlest of movement of the shoulders and the hips, and everything just flows as it should. He's been terrific to watch up against the Egyptian Hassan Abdin, who has outperformed his ranking. He's just outside the top 20. Many thought he'd get this far, but he upset the number four ranked middleweight in the world, Vekas, the uh, Indian. And that was a huge shock in the quarterfinals. Yeah, like you just touched on then, Alex. Lopez is happy to defend while he's still in range. That's how comfortable he is with shots coming at him. He started off southpaw here, Lopez. Don't be surprised if he does um, switch. He's got good movement, but a different style in front of him tonight. Yeah. He had an opponent just trying to walk him down when we first seen him and that suited him down to the ground like it would with most Cubans but switched to Orthodox now to try and get the jab off. Yeah, I mean he, he actually boxed, when we saw him earlier on in the championship, he did box mainly Orthodox. So impressive how he transitions from Orthodox into Southpaw and back. He just does it. So smoothly. Like Eroslandi Savon, he is from Guatemala. And already winning both the America's Confederation Championship and the Pan American Games earlier on this season. Nice left to the body from the south, so stands in really sharp, hard punches from Lopez. Good right southpaw jab as well. Abdin is sturdy, he's a solid opponent. He's been causing upsets all the way through the competition so far. And he did win the Africa Confederations Championship earlier on this season himself. He's got a bit of pro box experience too. 
Lopez fights at his own pace. He brings his opponent down to the pace that he wants to box at. And then steps it up when he wants to. I would like to see him with someone in front of him who's going to try and take him out of that comfort zone. Closing seconds of the first round then. The style of Lopez is, is one that does afford, or at least uh, give a glimpse of opportunity for opponents, because he's always close to being in range for you, relying on that sort of upper body movement. And he wasn't dominating that round, but there was enough perhaps in it to see him clean on the scorecards. And indeed, yeah. Lopez with all three of the judges. Yeah, it wasn't a landslide round for him, but he obviously did win it. And like I said, he, he seems to go through some of these contests without seem, well, seemingly without breaking sweat, because he he's boxing at his own pace. I just take Abdon to rush him a little bit and try and take him out of that comfort zone, like I said. But obviously it's easier said than done against the, such a sharp counter-puncher. It's a fourth world championship for the 24-year-old Hassan Abdin. Never been beyond the second round previously. Here he is in a world championship semi-final against the number one seed, Marlon Lopez from Cuba. So well balanced, Cuban. But I would like to, like, him, like to see him just change the tempo every now and then. Go through the gears a little bit. See a bit of marking under the right eye on the cheekbone of Abdin. He, he brought that into the semi final. Courtesy of one or two struggles on the way through. better from the Cuban just maybe just trying to speed up the process that's what we want to see that's better a lovely big left too because Abdin comes back with a couple of body shots good response from Abdin but left for the right hand then as he was on the ropes and Lopez has got experience of, of fighting European and, and African fighters and Asian too. He actually won a tournament out of Marrakesh last season, last year. And he also went to China to win a tournament in 2014 as well. And that's, I think, been part of his education. Yeah, much travelled. And he is stepping it up a little bit more in this round. Lopez. You see why it's so effective in the WSB. He won seven of his nine events. He did lose in the final in the recent series, but he's, he's quite economical with his work. You, you can see how he'd have no problem with a longer format. Yeah, he doesn't jump around the ring or skip around the ring like some Cubans do on the feet. He's just takes little steps. Yeah, the support for Abdin has been absolutely fantastic. The Egyptians have been stamping their feet, beating the drum right from the first bell. Yeah, Abdin's giving it a go. I must admit, I, I thought there was a potential he could be outclassed in this one, but it's not been the case. Yeah. The thing is with Abdin, He's likely to lose this one, but more importantly, he's got to stay on his feet so we can box in the box off to go to Rio. Absolutely right. Top three from this division go through to Rio next summer. Lopez, the number one seed, one of those looking to bag himself a ticket, and he is in command in this event to get to the final and do just that.
You can see that Lopez has got the style that lends itself to, to Pro Box, WSB, or, or maybe the Pro Ranks further down the line. Yeah, and I, I get the feeling he's one of these Cubans who I did mention earlier in the week. He will step up accordingly, according to the opponent in front of him. Here we go then, into the third and final round. Arlen Lopez, the Cuban in the red, up against the tough Egyptian, Hassan Abdin. Missing a gum shield? Yeah, they're just going to clean the gum shield. Abdin has actually boxed in Olympic Games, that was in uh, Eurogames, Beijing, 2008. He, he was unlucky to bump into another Cuban, Carlos Bontura, in <laughs> those championships. He missed the same and progressed past that champion. And so that was at the weight below, so I think Billy Joe Saunders boxed that Cuban as well. So he's come up from 69 kilograms. Yeah, well, he wouldn't look as big at the weight as Lopez. No, he doesn't. Lopez looks like he's got the, the size and the physique to, to progress if he wanted to beyond 75 kilograms. Nice right arm from Lopez. Nice body work. Look at the ball acted in the middle of the ring. So relaxed and calm while he's doing it. He's just starting to turn up the heat on Abdin. Lovely jab from Lopez. He was just given a smack around the back of the head by his corner when he went out to, for the start of this round. I wonder if they were trying to G him up. Yeah, he's pretty laid back. They may want to see him go through the gears like we do. And that's exactly what he's doing with a minute to go. Amazingly, it took Lopez four attempts to win the middleweight title back in his native Cuba. It's probably a fair reflection of the depth of talent that they have over there. Oh yeah, can you imagine? Imagine the quality in the Cuban championships. It'd be almost as good as the quality of the world championships, I suppose. Absolutely. They probably wish they could have two, three in every division. Yeah. Getting his shots together nicely in this round, the Cuban. The first senior world championship for Arlen Lopez. Got to the quarterfinals of the youth events and five years ago and six years ago he won junior world championship is he about to progress and take a senior competition as well Scrappy at the end an excellent finish to the final round and surely Arlen Lopez is on his way Abdon gives himself credit there he put up a good battle Firing back well at the end, off the ropes, gave it everything, and he'll still get that other opportunity. He's got the bronze medal, but he's still going to get the opportunity to qualify for Rio and become a two-time Olympian. Number one seed at middleweight, Arlen Lopez, remains 
the number one man to beat in this division. And he's in Thursday's final. Well, it was a, a tough ask, perhaps an insurmountable mountain to climb for Abdin. The number one seed, Lopez, did what he had to do. And he got better as the bout progressed. And anyone who hadn't seen him earlier on in the competition, David, got a flavour later on of what he's all about.